Good afternoon, everybody. I want to uh, welcome you to uh, a really special day that we do on an annual basis here at the City of Brockton. Uh, before we uh, get into the formal uh, agenda tonight, I want to first of all thank some of the elected officials that are here. I know uh, Ward 5 School Committee, uh, Judy Sullivan is here. Ward 7 uh, School Committee, Timothy Sullivan is here. Uh, we have two representatives, uh, elected officials that serve Southeastern Regional Vocational Technical High School. Uh, Bishop Tony Branch is here, thank you. And you're gonna hear from Tony in his capacity as uh, first vice chair, vice chair of the NAACP in a little bit. I also wanna thank our great city clerk, Tim Cruz, for being here. Um, I don't know if there's any other electeds here, uh, but again, I, I welcome you, I thank you. Um, we are uh, extremely excited to be able to come together uh, February 1st to kick off Black History Month. I want to thank again uh, the NAACP, uh, Phyllis Ellis, uh, the president is unable to join us, but as I said, first vice chair uh, of the Brockton area branch is here, and you will hear from uh, Bishop Tony Branch in, in a short while. I want to thank the Hodges family. I want to thank Jamie and Jasmine. They created and established the African American Association here in the city of champions. So when I give the official proclamation, uh, I have one for the African American Association on behalf of the city to the Hodges, and I have one for the Brockton Area Branch NAACP that I will present to Mr. Branch. Um, today is really, uh, really a beautiful day in Brockton, and I am so glad that we come together uh, as a community, historic uh, community. If we think back in time, um, you know, Frederick Douglass himself was here. The Liberty Tree was here. The Underground Railroad stop was here in the city of Brockton. And we have always, uh, at least as under my administration, recognized and realized that we're a wonderful, inclusive, welcoming city. We call it the City of Champions. Today, being February 1st, is an entire month to celebrate the accomplishments of African American people in our city, in our commonwealth, in our country. But as I've said this before, it may just be a month, but it's 365 days in the year that we need to do so. And we will do so. We will set the example here in the city of Brockton. As I've said, um, the Liberty Tree uh, is really symbolic. It's not just history for the city of Brockton, it's American history. And uh, I am really excited to tell you that after many, 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 many years, uh, just this past year, the city has been able to acquire that. I want to thank the law department. When I became mayor, uh, I said, the Brockton doesn't own a piece of history and we're going to acquire it. So we did a friendly taking. The Liberty Tree on Frederick Douglass, which was formerly known as High Street, is now an asset of the city of Brockton. It's the people's asset. And we will, during the month, uh, have a, uh, a ceremony there on the grounds of Frederick Douglass uh, to showcase why the Liberty Tree means so much to our city. And, um, I'm going to ask you today um, to set the tone and set the example for the entire month. Um, we will continue to uh, acknowledge uh, the true history. And I said this just recently at the MLK breakfast. It's not just the history of Brockton, it's the American history. But we really have to peel back the layers of the true history itself. Not the history that I was taught, the real history. And so I am excited to uh, tell you that some proud Brocktonians, um, men and women, uh, will be recognized uh, on social media like we've done in the past. Great uh, examples of what black history means, not just to Brockton, but to our country. And then in the spring, uh, a proud African-American uh, sports figure that we lost, Marvelous Marvin Hagler, here in the city of Brockton, we will finally fitting tribute to him with the Marvelous Marvin Hagler statue. And I want to thank State Rep. Jerry Cassidy. Jerry was able to get $150,000. We will proudly have a showcase. We are inviting former prize fighters back to the city of Brockton, the Hagler family, friends of the late champ. And so more details to follow on that. But um, our diversity is our greatest asset. And I've said that every single day as mayor of the city of Brockton. One of my goals is always to provide an, a welcoming and open uh, city and an office here uh, based on all races, all ethnicities, all sexual orientations, all people. And so today I would proudly like to invite my friend, fellow elected official, uh, Pastor Tony Branch to speak to the podium on behalf of the Brockton Area Branch of the NAACP. Bishop.
Oh, you all can do better than that. Please give Mayor Sullivan a hand clap. And if you did not hear, y'all, for the, all y'all, I'm kind of informal, and for you all who did not witness his speech at the MLK breakfast, you missed a treat. And we want to thank you on behalf of the NAACP uh, for the speech that you provided. So let me say today that every black American is in solidarity and recognizing that our flag is, in fact, the American flag. This is a flag that was stained with generations of our blood that secured an economy that saved our nation. The American flag is our story of sacrifice and service, our ancestry bound in every star and every strike. Sacrifice and service that has been shown when we look at 5,542 miles from here in Jordan, where Sergeant William Rivers, Specialist Kennedy Sanders, and Specialist Brianna Moffitt, all of the state of Georgia, willingly put their lives on the line to protect our value and our freedoms. A commitment that's something that is greater than themselves. Today we raise, thank you, today we raise, thank you. Today we raise what, what is identified as the African American flag, the black American flag, the Afro American flag, a flag that symbolizes the unity of the African diaspora and the pride of our ancestries as African. Today, it represents the importance of our contributions, our resilience, and our demand in our nation. Hold these, th hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We begin our Black History Month today by raising what we identify as our unity, a flag of unity. I want to thank all of you all for being here today and to celebrate the African American flag. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you very much, Bishop. Uh, and again, uh, the NAACP does so much each and every day. Uh, they're also always looking for members, so please go on their website. Um, they are a wonderful organization that are, helps Brockton and beyond. Um, at this time, I'm gonna invite, and I don't know if both Hodges sisters, or one Hodges sister, you can both come up. But again, um, Jasmine and Jamie, and of course their mom is here, Cynthia, uh, have done so much. Um, and the fact that they incorporated and created the African American Association in the city of Brockton, let's give them a round of applause. Jasmine Shy. <laughs> so um, I first want to say thank you, Mayor Sullivan, you know, for continuing to um, every year tradition of raising, you know, this great flag here, the African American flag. Um, I'm overjoyed and excited to begin celebrating Black History Month in the city of champions. When I think of Black History Month, I think of all my ancestors who've paved the path, making me the young African American woman that I am today. It's amazing to think on this day, 159 years ago, the 13th Amendment to the Constitution to abolish slavery was adapted by the 38th Congress. In 2021, I heard my calling. I heard the calling to create something tangible in the city of Brockton not, that not only celebrates the culture of African Americans, but educates everyone about how rich our culture really is. Alongside my sister, the African American Association of Brockton was created and formed and today is a 501c3 recognized organization um, making strides from Brockton to Boston to New Bedford raising awareness about our amazing culture. On February 10th, we would love to have all of you join us in celebrating Black History Month in the city of Brockton at New Heights Charter School. We will have music, vendors, and local community groups and much, much more. So please, please be sure to check us out. I want to leave you all with a quote, one of my favorite quotes, um, by John Lewis, who was an American um, politician and civil rights activist, and he also served in the United States House of Representatives. Ours is not the struggle of one day, one week, or one year. Ours is not the struggle of one judicial appointment or presidential term. Ours is the struggle, struggle of a lifetime, or maybe even many lifetimes, and each one of us in every generation must do our part. And remember, not one month can hold our rich, amazing culture. I'm celebrating every day, all 12 months, and every single day in the year. Thank you.
So February 10th, I will be there. It's my wife's birthday, so don't tell Maria, but I'm going to be at New Heights, all right? So um, before I give out the proclamation, um, you know, this is a beautiful building, and you see the scaffolding uh, outside. We're doing a massive renovation with ARPA money, with federal money. Um, but I also want to let you know that the City Hall here in Brockton, Mass., is the only place in the United States of America that has a painting of the 54th Regiment. If you know the movie Glory, uh, I mean, it's with Denzel, it's, it's an unbelievable, Matthew Broderick, it's an unbelievable. So before you leave here today, the city clerk's office is on the right. Farther down, you will see a wonderful, wonderful painting of the 54th, the Black Regiment, as it was called. And I would really respectfully ask you to look at that uh, because that's history, that's local history. Some of those folks came from North Bridgewater, which is now Brockton, Mass. So at this time, it's gonna be my honor. And again, it's a mayoral proclamation. Um, the verbiage is the same for both, so we have twins here. We have a couple twins here today. But it's a mayoral proclamation. Whereas the city of Brockton proudly recognizes February 2024 as Black History Month, celebrating the many notable contributions that African American residents and business owners have made to our city, commonwealth, and country. Whereas African American people have played a significant role in the history of Brockton's economic, cultural, spiritual, and political development. Whereas through determination, hard work, and perseverance, African Americans have made valuable and lasting contributions to Brockton sharing, ex achieving exceptional success in all aspects of society, including business, education, politics, science, athletics, and the arts. Whereas this observance presents a special opportunity to become more knowledgeable about African American heritage and history and to honor the many African American leaders who have played a part in the progress of our community. Now, therefore, I, Robert F. Sullivan, as mayor of the great city of Brockton, hereby proudly proclaim February in the year 2024 in our fine city as Black History Month. And I humbly, respectfully urge all residents and visitors and business owners in our fine city to join me in observing this month. And I proudly, honorably sign and seal it today, the first day of February in the year 2024. I'd like to present it to the Hodges African American Association, to the two Hodges sisters, the Hodges family, and to uh, Pastor Tony Branch on behalf of the NAACP. the African-American flag within the halls of Rockin' City Hall. So again, I, I thank you all, um, city employees, school employers that have come here today, elected officials that have come here today, residents, uh, visitors, and business owners. This will officially conclude uh, the flag raising, the African American flag here in the city of Brockton. Uh, but remember, we have a lot of work to do together. We have to set the example here in the city of Brockton. So again, enjoy some time together. Please look at that wonderful painting of the 54th. God bless each and every one of you. God bless our city and our nation. Thank you very much.